In this video, we're going to search for some OER using YouTube uh, and then insert it into our OER textbook, which is sitting in Guru. Uh, first of all, let's do a search in the regular YouTube uh, search field. I'm interested in real numbers, for example, and um, the results that are returned are really um, a combination of both the standard YouTube license and open education resources. So we're going to use the filter button at the top corner to uh, filter only Creative Commons materials. From these results, we can now choose which of these OERs are particularly useful. Um, I'm going to have a look at this one here. You might see that I've already seen it before and um, you can review the resource and decide to what extent it's useful. Um, once you've made your decision though, we need to take the URL. So the easiest way to do that um, is really just to right click the video and say copy the video URL. Now we can go back to YouTube and here now we can decide where in the textbook does this particular section fit. So I'm going to open up the, the, the structure. I've clicked on the course. We are going to look at computation. And um, in our case, uh, we're particularly interested in objective number one and in the collection called objective number one. Now we want to actually insert a resource. So you see there's a button, um, add a resource, and here now it asks where do you want to take the resource from? Is it on the web? Is it a file on your computer? Or perhaps it's sitting in your Google Drive? And then there's also a suggestions box, but in our case it's pretty obvious we want the URL. So I can paste the URL into the into the search, uh, the URL field at the top. And the nice thing is if someone else has loaded it into Guru, then it can actually go and find if it's already in the Guru database. And in this case, it is. It's found the, um, the name and it's also got a little description. You can go further and say, all right, it's a particularly, it's a video. And if you want, you can add in some, um, uh, some images, but in our case, I think that's quite sufficient. You'll see there's a tick in I agree to the Guru copyright policy, and that's uh, an attempt to limit the amount of proprietary software that is actually uh, materials that are in the database. Uh, and then you can click the add button. And now when we have a look at our collection for objective number one, you can see that the first OER or the first resource is already loaded into the collection. Repeat this process for as many times as is required for that particular specific objective. Uh, on the screen now, you can see that here is uh, one such collection, this one was for computation, and you can see they've identified, the designer has identified six different OERs to teach this section. Um, you can see they have a number of web pages, they have a number of um, interactive web pages, and a number of videos that make up this particular uh, collection. 